Welcome to Verndell TV's Google Analytics series, part two. This episode will focus on performance metrics. Make sure you are logged into your Google Analytics account before viewing this tutorial. Let's begin with generating key performance indicators. The key performance indicators that you want to be looking at are bounce rate and average time on site. You can find this information in the content section. You can export this data into Excel to compare over and under performing pages, meaning look at the pages on your site that are performing the best and the worst, then generate learnings from those pages to optimize underperforming pages. Let's take a look at a few important key performance indicators. First, optimize content types by most bounced pages in aggregate. In order to download the highest bounce URLs, look at the top landing pages report within content. Then categorize those URLs into content types and finally optimize around those content types. You can do this by exporting into Excel like I did here. You'll then get an idea of how different sections of the site might have to be looked at in terms of strategy in the way they are being presented. Attributing engine visibility to search referrals. Take a look at referral traffic and compare current data with baseline traffic. This will help you get an idea of which optimization efforts have worked soundly and which need some improvement. Social media optimization. More than ever, it's important to analyze key performance metrics coming from specifically social media sites. You can download this information from the Traffic Sources section within Google Analytics. Optimizing by keyword. Take a look at key performance metrics and optimize around top performing keywords. The best way to do this is to look at the average time on site, the bounce rate, etc. Finally, let's go over a second form of performance metrics, which are conversion optimization techniques. The first one is funnel visualization, which is one conversion optimization technique that looks at the path to conversion so you can analyze where users are abandoning the conversion course. This is a very useful technique, but even more critical for e-commerce sites. Next. Form optimization is another technique that is used to understand which fields of the form users don't like to fill out. Then you can optimize or remove fields with the greatest drop-off rates. There are two implementation methods that you could use including virtual page views or jQuery plugins. Both implementations are fairly simple. This concludes part two of the Google Analytics series. Check back for more episodes on Google Analytics tips and techniques.